From Washington, D.C., this is the TV News.TV for Tuesday, November 1st, 2011. Brought to you by Original Productions, the powerhouse in reality television. Original Productions, a Fremantle media company. Visit them at OridgeProd.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we begin with the New Media, New Marketing Report. And as promised, John Leland is in with our TV News team report on the impact of YouTube's $100 million, 100 branded video channel initiative. Now from San Francisco, here's Combridge's John Leland. Thanks, Jeff. Yeah, the impact of this uh, you know, $100 million investment that YouTube is making with major players in original programming really underscores the mega trends that we've been talking about on this program and that I talk about when I do keynote speeches. I mean, a lot of people don't even realize yet that YouTube is the number two search engine in the world behind uh, Google, but ahead of Yahoo and MSN Bing. And the trend and the way that YouTube has taken off is further fueled by this investment. Um, a quick couple of quick statistics is that, you know, YouTube exceeds 2 billion views a day, which according to one source is, is, three, is double the three major U.S. broadcast networks combined. Um, you know, there are uh, 60 days of video uploaded uh, every day which is about what the um, three major U.S. networks have created in 60 years. And that's all just within the U.S. Um, you know, YouTube is a truly global phenomenon. It's uh, customized for 22 different countries in 24 different languages. So when program producers partner with YouTube, they're going way beyond what any U.S. network is capable of. You know, these trends continue. Cable and broadcast TV used to really have a stranglehold. And YouTube blew it wide open, and this investment is proving that they are absolutely a major player. Other big <coughs> things, trends that are being reinforced here um, is the mobile phenomenon, that TV, is no, TV and video consumption is absolutely no longer a living room phenomenon. It isn't even a computer-based phenomenon. Smartphones, which are going to continue to get smarter and more powerful, will continue to be, and tablets in particular, will continue to be a really big video consumption platform. And perhaps the biggest of all of them is advertising. Because, you know, YouTube is going to become a very important advertising platform. And, you know, Google is roughly $30 billion a year in, in AdWords. Still a lot of marketers don't completely understand. Bring behind that the advertising power uh, that Google will uh, continue to exercise with more and more muscle via YouTube. Um, and that's going to be a major impact. This is a major step forward for YouTube, but it really is just the beginning of even bigger things that are guaranteed to come very quickly. Well, as always, we thank you for your time and your insight, John. The New Media New Marketing Report is sponsored by ComBridges, website design, internet marketing, and social media strategies. Visit them at ComBridges.com. Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. Well, we've got good news and bad news with the broadcast TV ratings. The good news is that ABC's surprise hit, Once Upon a Time, held on to its entire premiere audience, and that's a first so far for any new show in this new fall season. Now, the bad news. Fox's premiere of the very unfunny Alan Gregory delivered a paltry 4.7 million viewers. The reason? Not funny. And finally, it's official. Well, at least everyone in the free world is reporting it as being official. Reality star Kim Kardashian has filed for divorce from her blink-of-an-eye husband, Chris Humphreys. Our reaction? I'm shocked, shocked to find that gambling is going on in here. You're winning, sir. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We never saw that one coming. And now this.
Events and Opportunities, brought to you by PC&E, Atlanta's only one-stop shop for lighting and grip, camera, sound stages, and expendables. Visit them at pce-atlanta.com. The Turner Alumni Celebration is just a handful of days away, so sign up and make all necessary arrangements to attend. I'm getting very excited. I'm signed, sealed, and delivered myself. The Turner Alumni Reunion happens November 12th at Hilton Atlanta. To register, head on over to this link right now. Well, the upcoming holidays can mean but one thing. The TVNews.TV's third annual Duh Awards. So head on over to the TVNews.TV on Facebook and begin the nomination process because you are picking all the winners. If you want to talk to the real decision makers in the TV industry, sign on as a sponsor for the TV News. Now to get started, just email us at advertise at the TVNews.TV. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. We thank you for watching, and as always, go out and make it a good day.